What's up guys, Billy here. Now earlier today I was outside doing some yard work, hence the hat that I'm wearing. I sat down for a second to take a little break, I picked up my phone and was scrolling through Instagram. I saw that DJI uploaded something to their story page, you know how they have those Instagram stories now. I saw they uploaded something to there, and as I was watching through, it seemed that they uploaded their trailer for the Seize the Moment event, which we know is coming in late May. Now up until today it wasn't confirmed by DJI, I mean, you know, a lot of people were leaking and were talking about it, but today is the official day that DJI actually came out and said they're going to have an event. So I'm going to play the trailer for you guys really quickly if you haven't seen it. It's about 45 seconds long and then after that we'll do a little breakdown and think about what we can expect from DJI at this event. Honey, look what I got. What is that? Oh, what look at is this? this? Oh, wow. No, it yes! flies! This is amazing! Oh my gosh, we gotta hurry up and get home so I can post oh this right gosh. now. Oh my gosh, you love it? Yeah, that's that's too intense. I loved it, it's really, really nice. <laughs> All right, so there we have it. That is the little teaser that DJ gave to us. It's up over on their website, their YouTube channel, their Instagram, even their Twitter. So make sure you go ahead and give them some love as I don't want to feel like I'm totally ripping their video. Okay, so now getting into the breakdown of the trailer itself. It begins with these people pulling this new product from DJI from their bag. So one guy pulls it from his backpack and the other woman pulls it from her purse. So the first indication is that this product will be small. The next thing that we hear is some guy yell, oh my god, it can fly. And after that, we see some aerial shots. So those two things, right away, we get two hints. Uh, first of all, it's going to be small. Next, it can fly. So I mean, this pretty much fits the exact description of the Spark. I don't think I would have had to watch the rest of this trailer and I would have known that DJI was releasing their Spark at their upcoming event. Now before we get any further into the trailer, I went frame by frame through the very beginning like intro clip where they were pulling the object from the bag and I noticed that in the reflection of this guy's eye there's a little white object. Now this is like some conspiracy theory type shit, but as we know this little spark is going to come in a white shell or a black shell, those are at least the two leaked pictures that we have. And this is just something I noticed, like I know that with the GoPro ad, the Karma actually leaked because we could see the drone itself hidden in the guy's reflection when he was skiing from his goggles. So this is just something to point out, I don't necessarily think that this could be the spark, maybe it could be, but again I noticed a little white reflection in his eye and I figured it'd be worth mentioning. The last thing I want to mention about this whole intro clip, and something that I found somewhat weird, is that all these people are like, oh what is that? Another guy was like, what is this? And again the guy said, oh my god it can fly. I mean, I feel like if I looked at the spark, I would know it's a drone. Uh, so maybe they're just playing along for acting, maybe it's just kind of to build up hype, but that's just something that I found a little bit weird. Once the intro was wrapped up, we started to get into some different tech slides and also some different aerial shots taken from what we believe to be the spark. The first thing I want to focus on is that bit of text shown across the screen. There was three different, I guess, phrases or three different bits of text that I want to focus on. The first one says, your world is about to get a little bigger. Now the one thing I want to point out is that the font size, when it says a little, is smaller. When it says bigger, it's obviously larger. I feel like this is just kind of reinforcing that it's going to be a small drone. I mean, little. They want you to know it's little. Uh, again, I just feel like they're focusing on that one bit of text. Also, they're really trying to drive home that a drone just makes your world seem so much bigger. I mean, I know from personal experience when I'm flying around my Phantom 4 Pro, my Mavic Pro, I just feel like I can see everything and I feel like I'm almost on top of the world. So again, those are the two things I think they're trying to drive home with this bit of text. The next bit of text that was flashed across the screen said, don't miss it. Now there are two things I can pull from this, again, like don't miss the actual drone itself, it's super small, don't miss it in the air, maybe, I don't know, maybe I'm kind of going a little bit too far here, but also I feel like it's saying don't miss the actual moment, like you can bring the spark around with you wherever you go, don't miss capturing that moment and being able to share it with others, just bring your spark with you. Again, two things I think they're trying to reinforce with that bit of text. Finally, at the end of the video, it says seize the moment. As we know, seize the moment is the slogan that's attached with this event this time around. We always know that DJ likes to attach some sort of slogan to their events. And right before it says seize, it actually says size. And they kind of squeeze that E in there at the end. 
So I believe, again, that they're trying to really drive home that this drone is going to be small. Like, I feel like that's the only thing they're trying to harp on in this video, that it's going to be a very small drone. Throughout the entire video, I also noticed a lot of people were getting excited. There's a lot of yelling, a lot of people getting super hype, and I think that that's a really good way to get people to want to buy this product. Now, I have four different things that I pulled from this actual teaser trailer, like four things that really stood out to me when watching these aerial shots, and I have them written down over here, and I want to discuss them just a little bit, but I don't want to take too much time to actually talk about them. Uh, so first of all, inside flying. We see a lot of that with the Spark, and I think that with such a small drone, inside flying will be a lot easier. We see like one person flying through like some books or something like a library. We also see them flying over a hockey game, which obviously is played inside. So two things that really do point out that inside flying is going to be a lot easier with this small of a drone. This next point that I want to hit goes hand in hand with flying inside, and that is that with this drone, you're going to be able to fly in some very tight spaces. Now, as we know, when we're flying inside, it's usually going to be a very confined space. Like there's usually a ceiling, a floor, and walls very close by. But whoever's flying this drone for this teaser trailer is flying in some places that I wouldn't even be able to fit my Mavic Pro. Again, I think that this drone is going to be perfect for getting certain shots that you otherwise wouldn't be able to with your Mavic Pro, Phantom 4 Pro, or really just any bigger drone in general. The next clip that I want to focus on is when the drone is flying behind these birds, and this leads me to believe that the Spark is going to be a quiet. Now, of course, it's going to be smaller than the Phantom 4 Pro, meaning it's going to be quieter, but really, like, when I'm flying my Phantom 4 Pro, even when I'm up 400 feet, I can still hear the motor spinning. Even when a strong gust of wind comes through, it gets really loud. So I think that with the Spark, is going to be a welcome addition to those who don't want to draw attention to themselves, or also those who maybe are trying to film wildlife like this and don't, again, want to draw attention to yourself or the drone itself, scaring the animals away. The final thing that I want to discuss looks at the aerial shots in this teaser trailer as a whole. So first of all, you know, we saw it flying through these confined spaces, which I think is what the Spark will be best for, but we also saw it flying high above buildings, near water, and even high over someone driving around an ATV. So I think that even though it's going to be built for, you know, flying in the backyard, filming family events, or even flying inside, it's also still going to be able to be used like a Mavic Pro, flying high above different objects, and also different people doing some different things. Overall, what I'm trying to say is that even though it's a smaller drone and will be used for flying inside, it still should be able to be used flying at high altitudes and getting some cinematic footage of, you know, buildings. Also, again, high above people doing some different activities. Overall, I think that this will be a well-rounded drone and won't be just confined to flying inside. Hopefully that makes sense. And to wrap this video up, of course, in the teaser trailer, it shows them putting the drone away. Some guy saying, we gotta upload this footage right now. I just think, again, they're getting really hyped. They're getting people wanting to buy this product. And I think overall, just getting people excited for this event. I know I'm excited. I think that the teaser trailer boosted my excitement up to a whole nother level. I really haven't heard back from d -Drive recently. I know that I said that I wanted to try to make it up to the actual event. They haven't gotten back to me. I'm not sure how I'm going to be able to get in. So we'll see what happens with that. Kind of a bummer. Uh, but guys, anyway, that about wraps up this video. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you are new around here, as I have been trying to upload daily. Also, down in the comment section below, let me know if you picked up on any hints that maybe I missed. I know that they showed, like, all these different quick-moving clips, and sometimes I can't pick up on every single thing. But guys, anyway, as I said, this video is coming to an end, and as always, I'll talk to you later. Peace.